Your life runs on energy. Electricity is the energy that runs your home. Gasoline is the energy that runs your car. So what's the energy source that runs your body? Simply put, your body relies on calories from the food you eat for the energy it needs to keep running. A calorie is a unit of heat used to denote the amount of energy in a food. In this lesson, we'll learn about the nutrients in foods that provide calories, known as energy-yielding nutrients, namely carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. We'll also reveal another substance that can provide calories even though it's not a nutrient. Do you want to know what it is? Well, I'll tell you, but you'll have to wait until the end of the lesson to find out. I mentioned that calories are units of energy. When you read a food label in the grocery store, you notice that calories are listed on the label. These calories are actually kilocalories. The prefix kilo means 1,000, so we can define kilocalories as units of 1,000 calories. Having a list of thousands of calories on a food label would make for some pretty big numbers, so we spell the word calorie with a capital C to indicate that it is a kilocalorie. In other words, one calorie equals one kilocalorie equals 1,000 calories. Carbohydrates, fats, and proteins all provide your body with calories, but fats are the king of calories. I say this because when you eat foods that contain fats, such as meats, dairy products, vegetable oils, and avocados, these fats provide 9 calories per gram. This is a much higher yield than we get from the other nutrients, which we'll discuss in just a moment. Fats, also referred to as lipids, can be stored in your body, so this high energy content makes fat a great source of stored energy that can be called on when you are involved in endurance activities. For example, if you run a marathon, fats become your body's primary energy source for sustained energy. Even though fats are the most energy dense of the three energy yielding nutrients, carbohydrates, which provide four calories per gram, are your body's first choice for energy, especially immediate energy. This is because carbohydrates, which you obtain from foods like grains, fruits, and vegetables, are easily converted to energy in your body. For example, if you're a sprinter in a 100-yard dash, your body will call on glucose, which is a simple carbohydrate, for the fast energy needed to power your muscles. Proteins are another nutrient that can supply your body with energy, and we see that proteins provide 4 calories per gram. But of the three energy-yielding nutrients, proteins are your body's last choice for energy. This is because proteins are needed for countless other functions in your body, including growth, development, and repair of tissues. Because proteins have so many uses, they're easily obtained from a variety of animal and plant-based foods, including meat, fish, milk, beans, and even vegetables. Now, we described carbohydrates, fats, and proteins as the three energy-yielding nutrients. Yet, at the beginning of the lesson, I promised to share another substance that can provide your body with calories. That substance is alcohol. Alcohol is not considered a nutrient needed by your body, but it does provide calories, which your body can use for energy. Alcohol provides 7 calories per gram. With this fairly high calorie yield, we see that alcohol is fairly rich in energy, but these calories that come from liquor, wine, and beer are considered to be empty calories because they contain very few, if any, vitamins and minerals. Let's review. A calorie is a unit of heat used to denote the amount of energy in a food. There are three nutrients in foods that provide calories, namely carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. Collectively, we refer to them as energy-yielding nutrients. The calories we see listed on food labels are actually kilocalories. We spell the word calorie with a capital C to indicate kilocalories. Therefore, one calorie equals 1 kilocalorie equals 1,000 calories. Fats provide 9 calories per gram. They are a great source of stored energy and become your body's primary energy source for sustained activity. Carbohydrates provide 4 calories per gram. They are a great source of immediate energy. Proteins provide 4 calories per gram. They are your body's last choice for energy. 
alcohol provides seven calories per gram, so it's a source of energy, but it provides little or no nutritional value to your body.